This video is going to look at video on your iPad and how you get video onto your iPad and how do you delete it. Uh, video can come from several sources. You might download a TV show or a movie from iTunes. So you have the iTunes app, the iTunes store, and movies or TV shows. And you can rent or buy a movie or a TV show and, and download it directly to your iPad, which is what I'm doing at the moment, downloading a movie called Harry and Walter Go to New York. Uh, and you can sort of see how long it's going to take. Depends on the, uh, the the wireless system as to how long that will take. But that's one way of getting video onto your system. Um, the other way to get movies and TV on your system is to rip it yourself from uh, DVDs and movies that you own. So using Handbrake or rip it for the Mac, you can take that movie off the physical DVD and then put it into your iTunes library and import it that way. So if I was to go into my iTunes and into the movies, most of the movies, if not all of them there, are ones that I have ripped from DVDs that I, that I own. Uh, or that I found on YouTube and downloaded as MP4. So I can just uh, synchronize these movies from the iTunes store to my iPad. So there's the iPad there. It's still backing up now, but that's the movies tab. And to get movies across to your iPad, you need to sync them. Select that. And from there, you select which movies from iTunes, from your movies library, are going to be uh, syn synchronized across to your iPad. And in this case, I'm only sending one across because I haven't got much room on my um, iPad. And there's TV shows as well. So there's, these are TV shows that I own that I have ripped from the DVDs, uh, put them into iTunes, and then synchronized them over to the iPad. So that in the Devices tab there under the TV shows, uh, I have quite a few TV shows there. Uh, I've got synchronized and there's 20 episodes of one particular TV show and then all episodes of that, of that selected show. So because I haven't got much room left, it's just sort of my Doctor Who collection, I think, uh, is, off, is all, all on there, edited ones of those. And uh, they're taking up quite a lot of room and I would need to get some of these off. The other way to get video on is to actually use the camera to take it yourself. So the camera app. And the camera's pointing at my screen now. If I change it to video and record, I'm just recording what's on that screen. It's looking like I just move around, show a bit of the messy room that I'm in. So I can take my own video from the iPad in the camera and it will end up in the camera app. So the video is this one, this is the last one that I took, this video here, which I won't play on here because it just uh, doesn't like the way uh, the recording setup, it'll just take over. But what I want to do is put that into an album. So I have a, an album, done there, go back to the, the camera roll. All of the video that you take on the iPad will end up in the camera roll under photos and I'm putting it into an album just so I can find them all because I have a lot of photos here. So I need to do it from the photos. I'm going to edit. I want to add this video, add it to an existing album, and that album is called My Videos. So in that album are all the videos that I've taken on the iPad and so I can find them amongst the 3,000 photos that are there. And uh, there are the three or four ways that you can actually get video onto your system. Uh, how do you get it off? How do you delete it? You can delete video by, of course, going into iTunes and deselecting it. So I'm in, into uh, selecting my device of selected TV shows, and then I could deselect that. I don't want that episode of Doctor Who to be on the iPad and click apply and then it will remove it. Uh, I'm not going to do that at the moment because there's still 
it's still backing up the, the previous step. But I can do the same with the movies. I can take off whatever's there. I don't want that one anymore. I can apply that setting and then it will synchronize and it will remove it. And you might need to do that because there's not much room. There's only 2.86 gigabytes left of space on this. A 64 gigabyte iPad and there's just not much left. Synchronizing it with your with the iTunes is one way of doing it because you can pick and choose which uh, episodes and, and, and of TV shows and which actual movies you want to include. And the same goes for everything else up here. These, these tabs here are the way you get media on and off your system. On the iPad itself, if you wanted to delete the movies that you've taken, you go into the to the Photos app and find the videos and in my case it's in the albums tab and edit select the ones you don't want so I don't want these two and remove them remove them from album that will remove them from from everywhere and then they're gone uh, to remove the TV shows and videos it, to watch videos TV shows on your iPad you use the videos app and in that you can see your TV programs. You can see there, there's some of my Doctor Who collection, classic Doctor Who, and go out of that and into films. That is the film that I have purchased from iTunes and is being downloaded to my iPad directly. And that's the only one I'm going to be able to delete directly off the iPad because it's come from iTunes. Uh, if that movie was on my computer and I'd copied it across to the iPad using iTunes then I would have to use iTunes to remove it uh, as it is I can hold it down and there's a little cross there if I, if I was to tap that cross uh, I can delete that video I won't at the moment for the TV programs uh, I cannot do that go into these program the TV programs if I hold it down it's not going to let me delete it because I copied them across through iTunes. So in iTunes, there's the TV shows. Um, I've asked uh, iTunes to synchronize the shows. And I've got to find the Doctor Who editor, which is this one. They're the programs that have been copied on. If I want to remove them, I have to deselect it and apply. And then it will synchronize and remove it. Uh, let's leave that alone because I don't want to do that. There is another way though that I've found that you can remove um, TV shows and movies and that's going to the settings. And settings general usage. Under storage and it'll take a minute to calculate actually what's on this device because there's 52 gigabytes used but it will let me know everything that is taking up space on this iPad going from whatever is taking up the most space and it's in this section you can actually delete separate episodes of TV shows and movies so in this case the videos is taking up the most space so there's 31 and a half almost gigabytes of video on the, the iPad not all of them will be TV shows or movies there might be uh, other videos that belong with other apps if I tap into that, the only TV programs that I've got on here are 30 gigabytes of, of the Doctor Who edited. I can go into that, that to the arrow of that, hit the edits, and then I can actually delete individual episodes. And these were episodes that I've synchronized across from iTunes, but I can delete individual episodes if I needed to, and I wasn't anywhere near my computer. Now, any video I delete, I can. Um, guess it's back so even though it's not on the iPad if I purchased it from iTunes you can go back into the iTunes app and there is a purchased tab which will give me access to everything I've ever purchased from the iTunes store at any time so there's the music I've purchased the TV shows that I've purchased and the movies that I've purchased so the Harry and Walter go to New York was the one I've just purchased if I delete that from the iPad, I can simply go in and download it again uh, anytime I need to, and then I can delete it again. So all those vi videos there are ones that I've purchased from the iTunes store. Uh, it's also going to be on my 
iTunes library. So if I go back into iTunes and into the movie library, and Harry and Walter go to New York is being still being downloaded at the moment, but it will be in my movies library in iTunes on my computer. And you can see there the cloud. I've downloaded it from the cloud. This one up here, this James Bond movie, is one that I purchased from iCloud from iTunes. Uh, it's not on my um, hard drive at the moment. It's still sitting up in the iTunes cloud, my account. If I wanted to watch that, I could download it uh, to my movies, and it will stay in the hard drive. So you know, never you can never completely lose it. iTunes is a good way to back up your media collection. You can have your iTunes library on a computer. Uh, it is the best way to manage taking media on and off your device. So there's. There's the movies library. That's everything that's in the in the um, hard drive that I've ripped. There's the TV shows library, the music library. It also backs up the apps that you've purchased. And connecting the device, so connecting the iPad, then allows me to select from each of these tabs what exactly I want to have on and off that iPad. Which movies do I want? Which TV shows do I want? Podcasts, I've actually elected not to sync them at all. I have a whole lot of podcasts there, but I don't have any of those on the iPad at all. Uh, nor, I think, iTunes U. So I have got some courses there, but I haven't synchronized them. So just selecting the tabs will uh, indicate whether any of that media will be taken across to your iPad. Anything you sync from your iPad needs to be deleted from the iPad. Anything you buy, rent from the iTunes store can be deleted directly from the iPad.